Hi Aquarius, this is Amna from Soulmate Tarot and today we are doing your bi-monthly um, May 1st to the 15th, 2019. Um, please keep in mind that this is a journal reading. It may or may not resonate with you. If it does not resonate with you, just take whatever resonates with you and let the rest fly. Check out other amazing tarot card readers who you can resonate with. If it resonates with you, please like and subscribe to the channel. It means a lot to me. It really, really means a lot to me. Um, also, um, uh, I'm um, open for um, personal booking, personal readings uh, and the bookings of personal readings. Sorry, I'm like a little... Um, tongue tied today um anyways uh, so i'm open for um uh, personal readings uh, and their bookings so uh, just send me an email and um i'll get back to you with the calendar um there are some slots available so uh, pick up the slot which suits you and the time it suits you and uh, no actually the time will the time it will suit me and then um We'll fix it up and uh, also uh, I'm open for tips and donations for the channel so that uh, I can devote my full time and attention to expand this channel um, to help create uh, content which is more helpful to you guys. Um, I work full time and it sometimes gets very crazy. I want to devote more time and attention to this channel. Um, anyways, um, let's get to your peaceful flow and the messages which I got and the way and I got um, it's crazy um, when I am um, you know tried to tap into your energy first I was like I, I, I wasn't able to get into your energy at first which is very strange because uh, for me it's very easy to tap into people's energies um, but uh, for me there was it wasn't like a blockage it was more like a it wasn't even resistance honestly speaking it was like it wasn't welcoming um, as if I wasn't welcome there um, like I could get in there but I wasn't welcomed uh, I don't know why maybe um, you will feel as if um, in some places you are not welcomed uh, in, um, in the month of May um, you might feel that way um, also, um, finally, um, I had to just like barge in. Um, there was a door, and uh, I was just hesitant to open it. I I felt as if I I'll open it, and uh, it will lead up to something very uh, cringy and not worth opening. But I opened it, and surprising enough, um, it open it led to uh, an open field. Um, uh, where I live, uh, it's like it, it's like a super cramped area. We don't see a lot of greenery around here, and um, uh, it, it was a green field um, full of grass, and it was such a serene green field. Uh, you cannot even imagine. And for me, uh, greenery is all about growth. Uh, greenery is all about abundance. Uh, greenery is all about um, opportunities um, expansion because it was a vast field it was a l it was a very very vast field so I think a lot of good opportunities are coming your way um, I'm you know I'm narrowing down the meaning uh, of each and everything uh, to you uh, so um, I started you know roaming around that field and I was like oh it wasn't that bad why I was so afraid um, why I was so indecisive to come here and um, you know things started coming to my mind that I was indecisive to come here so yes you might feel um, opportunities are coming your way but at the same time you might feel indecisive in some of um, in some areas of your life um, also uh, what else did I see um, there were no animals or anything like that over there. I was just alone there, uh, but I felt very. I felt that calm. I felt it. You know, I felt relieved. I felt at peace. Um, 
it was it was a serene moment it was a serene moment as if as, as if I, this was something i was waiting for um to feel relaxed feel um um as if a burden has been lifted off me um emotionally uh, and mentally as well um so uh, i i see growth i see expansion but i also see um indecisiveness in that particular moment so uh, take your decisions wisely choose wisely um you might feel um we haven't started yet um you might feel indecisive in the beginning of uh, some areas in your life in the month of may but um expansion and growth and new opportunities uh fast moving new opportunities are coming your way anyways let's get started and we have the ace of wands new beginnings of growth yes i always say that i'm like and yes new beginnings fast moving growth uh, i always say i'm like a banshee um i have a gift of um and i take pride in it um sometimes i feel bad about it because um uh, not only i'm like a banshee i am uh, i have a gift of clear points and um premonition so um i can <coughs> i can definitely predict uh, some good news and bad news in some people's lives especially people i can connect with um energetically and um um i'm going to share a very personal thing with you guys and um i've i, I shared this thing with um a, sh a couple of thing you know um, um I've shared this with uh, a couple of people um, before, but I'm going to share this on YouTube for the first time. Um, I actually predicted my father's death a year before his death in the exact same way uh, it happened, um, exact same manner it happened. Um, so I, yeah, I have a gift of premonition, and I was I, I was a teenager back then. I didn't I, I was not a tarot card reader back then. Um, I didn't know I could do that i didn't know i just I, I didn't know it was about my father i just saw something and i told everyone in my house that i you know um this this thing happened i don't know uh who is it i don't know who this is going the moon card uh, so i was like i don't know who this is gonna happen to i don't know when this is gonna happen but this is ha this is what happened and this is what i saw and i was wide awake when i saw that one year later my father passed away in the same exact manner same series of events happened in his life uh, six of cups five of wands in reverse Knight of Pentacles. Half space. I don't know. Talking about my father's death has just made me shiver again. Sometimes I feel is it's a curse. It's a curse that I can see. Um, there were too many cards, so I didn't. I'm not gonna pick any. Um,
All right, I'm gonna freeze you guys for a minute. Um, I need to recover from what I just shared with you and I'm gonna come back. Just give me a minute, okay? Just one minute. All right, uh, let's start again. I think this is not gonna go away. We'll have to continue. I have some readings to do. This was in reverse. So the pool card in reverse. Never go. Nine of Wands in reverse. Um, Knight of Wands. I guess you cannot see the last line. Mm. Yeah, now you can see. Still, so I'll bring this one a little up. Uh, Alright. So I said, um, um, like I said, um, I said we and a few having a brand new beginning, uh, a very fast, um, a very fast, a very bright new beginning, a very fast growth, um, very very fast growth, fast growing new beginning. It's a new beginning, but it's fast movement, fast growth um, kind of beginning. Um, but um, be very careful in that uh, particular moment there are some secrets there are some lies there are some um, like I always say kinky skeletons um, the moon will lead you use your intuition uh, the moon card is not always about um, bad things bad luck or uh, secrets or lies it's always about using your intuition um, you know um, so if there are no secrets if there are but it's always about using your intuition even if there are you know lies or secrets if you use your intuition you'll be able to move, handle them well so always use your intuition because it's a new beginning it's a very fast moving energy so um, always use your intuition um, and you'll be safe you'll be safe just play safe um, because it's it's a growth opportunity and whenever you're growing um, whether it's love whether it's career whether it's finances or um, you know any type of opportunity uh, since it's a love reading so it's probably love um, so uh, brand new opportunity of love um, or brand new opportunity of career or finances I could you know see it both ways um, people uh, get in your way um, obstacles come in your way um, and, and when it's a new beginning especially yes um, a lot of obstacles come into your way um, whether you want them or not uh, they do uh, come and play their part uh, so um, be careful uh, use your intuition uh, play safe um, because it's it's, it's going to be very fast it's going to be very fast before you think it's going to happen so with fast moving energy uh, comes um oh yeah in the bottom of the deck is the page of souls yes it's definitely very fast moving energy um very very fast moving energy and uh, also fast moving communication fast moving communication why i mentioned that because um in the next card in in here is six of cups return of an ex um whether you like it or not uh, i see um an ex coming back to you um yes an ex coming back to you um but with um coming back with a lot of clarity um maybe you guys broke up with uh, a lot of misconceptions um created around you guys um uh, they're coming back uh, to give you clarity maybe to give you clear uh, that clarity will give you clear 
um, we'll clarify that in the uh, through the clarifiers with what this is about but um, things would, will become clear like I said moon will guide you um, so it could be a brand new beginning but with person from your past uh, because things will become clear um, yes um, you might be hesitant in accepting their offer like I said, I was hesitant in my way and I was hesitant to open the door. Uh, yes, you will be probably hesitant to accept their offer. Um, I see some hesitant, I, um, hesitance and I see some delays. You might, you might delay, um, you might take some time to accept their offer so yes the delay damn it my videos are like on point I, uh, and I don't even edit videos honestly speaking if I if I edit videos I uh, people could have said that um, people could have bashed me like I make things up but god <sighs> okay no, I have been even more goosebumps than I had before. Anyways, um, man, I don't see you taking a leap of faith with them. Yeah, hesitance. Um, not um, be like um, taking the next step forward with them. Maybe you had a bad breakup with them. Uh, maybe you don't trust them. Uh, lack of faith, lack of acceptance, lack of confidence in them. Um, but you're you you're coming around. I, I see you towards the end of second week. I see you coming around. You letting your guard down uh, towards them. Um, you not being so defensive. You opening that door up. Um, probably, um, but probably not for them. Probably for this new opportunity coming towards you. Uh, this Knight of Wands brand new opportunity of love um, what can I say about the knight of wands I, I love this guy yeah very fast moving new opportunity um, a, a handsome hunk of a guy um, there are very few um, king of cups and uh, a knight of wands uh, Knight of Cups. Yeah, these are the couple of guys um, in tarot, uh, in tarot decks, which I like the most um, for reasons uh, because I like their personalities. Um, this is one of those personalities which I like the most. Uh, I could actually describe them. Um, he's very grounded, uh, grounded in the sense that his personality is balanced. Um, he is very um, he is mature enough to deal with situations he's very fast moving he doesn't care uh, because he has learned from his experiences moving around um, you know he is he's a fire sign um, he's a fire sign I, not that I, I have something to do with fire signs uh, but he's bringing in a lot of fire in him he has a lot of fire in him um, it's a lot of passion uh, although um, knights are not passionate pages are passionate but fire signs um, a knight with fire um, lethal combination of uh, passion um, yes so there is a new opportunity coming in and you're letting your guard down for this new opportunity let's not get kinky and um, get some clarifiers but you have an ex coming you have two opportunities on the table uh, an ex coming back towards you um, but you're hesitant to accept that ex um, and uh, I see um, a new opportunity so you have two new offers I was looking at um, the ace of wands and it's clarified by the seven of pentacles it's something you have worked for in your life so probably it's related to uh, your career and finances uh, probably you've been working on a project or um, a new job um, 
um, yes, it's it could be related to your career in finances, uh, not related because your love reading starts here. Yeah. Let's see what this is about. If it, if, if if we don't have any pentacles here, that means this is definitely about. Um, if we have a, a pentacle here, that's definitely about love. What is the Ace of Swords thing here? wheel of fortune yes uh, yes this is something um probably related to your career in finances something as a project you've been working on um it's now definitely completed um you are now willing to um you know pick up um you know um the fruits of your labor um maybe waiting for that promotion maybe um, waiting uh, for that promotion at the end of a project or um, a raise uh, um, something like that um, definitely you uh, worked uh, on very hard uh, and um, you worked and you waited patiently for uh, quite some time now Could be a new job as well. Could be a new job. Ha, ah, the moon card. I was again when I look at a card and I don't ask a question, that means I'm asking a question in my heart. Um the moon card is clarified by Knight of Cups in reverse, although I love this card. Uh but um it's uh, uh, in reverse it's like their versions. Uh yeah, definitely um you have um some emotionless heartless people um who are going to uh, who are going to present some obstacles in your way uh who are trying to rob you of your opportunity uh who are going to uh, you know be um, who, who are going to rob you of your cup um beware of them beware of them uh, be very intuitive use your intuitive powers and um, you'll be safe you you will be safe now let's what's the six of cups here for? Uh, six of cups is clarified by the hermit card in reverse somebody you were in a relationship with but you were not thinking clearly when you were in a relationship with them um, definitely not someone uh, you wanted to be in relationship with because you were like oh my god someone who who left you and you were like what was i thinking you look back at them and you were like what was i thinking to be in a relationship with them um that kind of relationship what is this this five of wands doing here it ended and you were like okay go on <laughs> i'm happy that's why you're hesitant that's why you're not accepting their offer you're like ah no i'll wait for my knight of wands oh my god five of wands is clarified by knight of pentacles in reverse and we already have knight of pentacles in reverse delays 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 um <laughs> you uh, you know things are unfolding in front of you like um that person is giving you um different reasons why you um, broke up or why they broke up with you or you broke up with them and what were the misconceptions and you're like okay all the more reason uh, to delay this thing all the more reason uh, thank God you're giving me more reason to think over things and um, you're bringing back old memories and giving me more time to think over things and delaying this further and giving me, you know, different options to think over. So I did, uh, I said like some delay. Knight of Pentacles twice means 
a lot today. Like, stay in the corner, guy. What is this Knight of Pentacles in reverse here for? I was a fool to be with you in the first place. Not repeating that mistake. Yes, Knight of Pentacles, the delay, you think it's a blessing. <laughs> you think that it's it's like my wish fulfillment but this delay this delay is the best thing that happens to <laughs> that is happening to me um, this delay is the best thing that could ever happen to me I want this delay I don't want him back I want him to be gone I, I want him gone like poof and one in back. What is this card in reverse here for? The devil. The devil card in reverse. This means two um, things. And um, the queen of cups in reverse. Yeah, you're like emotionally backing off. Um, Queen of Cups in reverse, um, uh, but Queen of Cups in upright is also a person who's like very emotionally composed, um, who ha has a lot of emotions, but she's like she has her cup closed. Um, in reverse, she's like, uh, oh my god, I don't have any emotions at all. Go off, um, fuck off. Um, devil in reverse, you're like, mm, mm, this is obsession. Could be on their part, but like, duh. My God, it's it's like all kind of. I don't give a damn kind of obsession. Like, do you even exist? I don't even care if you breathe. I want you gone. You are an ex for the reason. I can't. That's brutal, Aquarius. That's brutal of you. But you're making me laugh. At least this is nine of one in reverse here for. Nine of cups in reverse. Um, you're letting your guard down because you're feeling unhappy. Uh, probably because um, uh, this person who came back in your life is making you feel unhappy. And you're letting your guard down and because you want a new opportunity to come into your life um, this one you want you had your guard up but now you want your guard down and you're you want your guard down for this person isn't this ironic that you have the nine of wands and he's bringing up with one he's coming up with one wand and that makes perfect Ten of Wands, not the other Ten of Wands. Like it completes the circle. This Knight of Wands down here. <sighs> you better. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So the Knight of Wands, I was about to say that you better hold um, your reputation. Uh, so um, the nine, a uh, Knight of Wands, is clarified by um, Nine of Pentacles and uh, the Four card. So you definitely, definitely be, um, um, you're very happy about this Knight of Wands and you're gonna take a leap of faith with this new um, guy or girl coming your way. Um, you're gonna be very happy. Please, um, I'm gonna say this one more time. Um, I get bashed a lot for saying he when the other person is looking for a she. Uh, I don't care what the gender roles are. I don't care if her if you're a he or you are a she or if you're a lesbian or if you're gay that does gender roles don't matter to me i don't mind the gender roles the gender roles can be reversed just use your head and 
take what applies to you so you what applies to you here is that you are happy that this person came to your life and you are ha willing to take the leap of faith the leap of faith which you were not willing to take before with your ex you're now willing to take a take that leap of faith with this person in the month of may towards the end of may see what can happen within 15 days of your life we should make a movie out of it all right let's quickly take oracle cards for you and because it's a beautiful ending perfectly defining my vision everything thus from the brain especially the first line because if i saw the future again oh god oh yeah the hesitance as well hesitance to open the door Joy. He deserves it, guys. Um, joy is the highest energy of all. It is the magical sense that everything is possible. Joy springs from appreciating the gifts within each moment. Uh, joy allows you to attract and create your present and future moments at their highest possible levels. So enjoy the moment. Enjoy the opportunity being given to you not the opportunity which you missed and you dodged <laughs> so uh, yes you weren't thinking before but this time around you are thinking you are like okay this is the person who made me unhappy before I'm not gonna go back to that what you know that toxicity I'm gonna choose happiness for myself I'm gonna take a leap of faith I'm gonna live in the moment I'm gonna enjoy my life and the luck is on your side so enjoy the moment bye Aquarius see you for the uh, weeklies